Hey guys, it's Nibscape, and this is my alt account, Nibscape2. Usually you can find him up in the Slayer Tower, killing a couple gargles, or perhaps down killing a couple brutal black dragons with his T-bow. However, unfortunately, I haven't played this account in a while. In fact, 125 days, and during this time, my membership has run out. And unfortunately, due to the fact that I don't really play this account that much, I can't really justify paying for membership. And I'm a bit of a tight ass and I don't really want to spend the money off of my main. So, that kind of leaves me with one option. I'm back to free to play. And this is a place I haven't really been since. Since I was about 12 and I persuaded my mum to buy me membership. So welcome to my new series. A series in which each episode we're going to look at a different free to play money making method. In order to buy our first bond. We'll look at how efficient it is and how long it will take. Welcome to my new series, Escaping Free to Play. So today we're going to be doing Zamorak Wines, and this is something that I've never done. I've never collected them. I think I might have collected them in a worldie once, but um, this is going to obviously going to be the free to play method. But uh, yeah, it should be exciting stuff. I believe it's relatively decent profit, so... Uh, yeah, should be, should be good. We're uh, going to the requirements first. So, for the requirements, the only actual requirement you need is 37 magic. This is obviously to cast telekinetic grab, and you need this to be able to pick up the wines off of the table. Uh, other than this, there are a few recommendations. So, I'd highly recommend having a semi-decent cash stack. Somewhere around about 40k plus, we'll see you do this nicely without having to go and bank and go to the GE and sell it all. So yeah, I'd recommend that. I'd also highly recommend having 500 plus in total levels, uh, all free to play skills. Along with this, you're also going to need Zamorakian monk robes. You need this to use the upper level and this is going to increase your profit per hour massively. It's also going to stop you from draining your stats and stuff like that. But yeah, let's jump straight back into it. Okay, so now we're going to have to buy ourselves the equipment needed. Okay, so we're going to buy enough just to top it up to the uh, to about 140. 140 law runes should be enough. Then we're going to need some water runes. Uh, I imagine probably six or seven of them probably be enough. Of course, the, probably the biggest thing we're going to need is the Zamorak robes. So we're going to need the monk top and obviously we're going to need the monk robes bottoms as well. They're actually slightly more expensive, but it's probably worth it cost-wise. It's quite handy to have as well. Uh, apart from that, that is literally everything we need. I'm going to try and do the two-floor method, so I might actually buy myself some lobsters. Uh, if we buy ourselves like, well, 30 is probably going to be way too too many, but we'll go for 30. Uh, that should be more than enough. But yeah, basically we'll go over the location now. So uh, location-wise, where we're actually going to be doing this is uh, just north of Falador. So we're going to teleport Falador. We're going to walk our way up. And it is this little altar here. There's a wine on the table. And then there's also a ladder. You go up the ladder and then there's another wine there. So basically we're going to be doing two wines, possibly hop world, two wines, hop back to the original world and it should be good to go. We'll probably just be hopping between two worlds. Hopefully we can find a world. I don't know what the sort of competition is going to be like on this. But it should be, uh, should be interesting. So uh, yeah, basically what we do is after we collect our wines, we'll have, hopefully have a full inventory. We then teleport to Falador, bank it, run all the way back up, and yeah, so forth. It's uh, It should be pretty, pretty decent. So as you can see here, we're just passing to the left of the Goblin Village, and literally here is the wine of Zamrak, and luckily there's one on the table there, so it's looking like this might be a relatively decent world. I'm going to quickly set up a screen marker just for my teleconnect grab. It's just going to make it slightly easier for me to know where it is to click and whatnot. But yeah, I mean, not too bad, I guess. Let's uh, get the timer started and yeah, I'll tie in with you in a minute, I guess. Hopefully this uh, goes well. Okay, so what I'm doing now, now is I'm just staying on the top level and I'm just hopping worlds, teleconnect grabbing. And then I'm just hopping wells, and I think this is definitely a little bit faster than anything I've done up till now. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep doing this, I think. I reckon this is 
a lot easier. And uh, yeah, hopefully we should see some decent uh, decent profit from this. Okay, so now we've got a full wave entry. We're just going to telly to Falador, run down here. And yeah, I think that was definitely the best method is just staying on that top level. There was a little bit of competing. Oh, fuck's sake. There was a fair bit of competing for worlds I did find on that top level. However, I do think it was a lot faster than having to worry about logging after the combat and all that sort of stuff. So uh, I'm going to keep doing this now, I think, for the final uh, for the final 50 minutes. And we'll see how well it goes. A little tip here that I'm using as well is uh, I'm actually using the Rune Light Inventory Viewer. This is just so I can... Fuck's sake, someone's pinched that one before me. Um, yeah, I'm just using the inventory viewer this way I can obviously see when my inventory is full without having to actually switch to my inventory tab Just makes it ever so slightly easier, I guess. So I'm coming towards the uh, 30 minute mark now and I've definitely found the best method is to find just to find nice free worlds in a row with no one on it and Yeah, I just hop between them. The only thing I did notice is I brought nowhere near enough law runes so uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I actually brought a uh, Barok teleport with me this time because I'm gonna have to. Uh, gonna have to restock on them. But um, yeah, to be fair, this isn't too bad. I say all you gotta do is get a nice three worlds in a row next to each other with no one on it, and just hop between the three of them, uh, telegrabbing it, and yeah, absolutely smashing it out of the ballpark. I reckon this is gonna be some pretty decent money to be honest. And 66 magic coming in. Uh, yeah, to be honest, the XP rates ain't too bad. I'm getting just over 9k XP per hour, so uh, yeah, it was a nice little level coming in. Uh, obviously, not the best uh, XP in the world, but uh, yeah, not too bad at all. I keep forgetting that someone's... I, I did have like four uh, worlds in a row with no one on, but one of someone's on one of them now, so I've got to keep a little eye out for that. But yeah, most people kind of just stay on one world, I found, and they just wait for the 30 second timer and just collect one wine but i think it's way faster just hopping between three empty worlds and obviously collecting it i'm playing it's what's this about nine o'clock in the morning so it's obviously not peak time i guess during these sort of times there's going to be a lot more competition but yeah i mean this is really easy and uh hopefully it's going to be pretty good money as well and that is the last one of this inventory. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to telly to Varrock. And yeah, we're going to resupply. I'm going to stop the timer as well. Because obviously you wouldn't usually have to do this. You should buy enough uh, supply. So we started with 140 law runes. Uh, so I reckon probably another 140-ish just to be safe, I reckon. And we should be pretty good. Okay, so we literally have about 45 seconds left. Unfortunately, I lost my three lovely worlds I was hopping between. And now I'm trying to <laughs> trying to get the last couple uh, wines in before before the end of the hour. But yeah, I mean, so far, Jesus Christ. All right, yeah, finally, there's at least one spawn there. But yeah, this has been, uh, it's been, not, it's not too bad. It's not the best thing I've ever done. It's definitely not AFK. There's a lot of like swapping, a lot of clicking. It doesn't seem as AFK as like the nature runes I was doing um, in the last episode. But it's still not too bad. And hopefully the money is pretty decent as well. This is probably going to be the last one. There we go. So we're bang on the hour. And yeah, let's teleport out. So there we go. One hour of collecting wines of Zamorak and yeah I mean we ended up with 214 wines which honestly ain't that bad at all okay so I obviously used 227 law runes uh, this was at a cost of 142 each and then we also used 10 waters in the end of a cost of five each so obviously we can use that to work out our costs Okay, so what we will do first off, we're going to have a little look at our wines of Zamorak and we're going to uh, price check them. So, all in all, the wines of Zamorak come to a very, very tasty 259,796. Well, I'm going to chuck them in the GE. Hopefully they sell for that. Uh, if they do, I think this is actually a very, very good money maker. As long as you're, it's not too competitive trying to get the world's. Uh, are these going to insta-sell? They insta-sold as well. Very nice. Okay, so we ended up with 272k. Um, the actual costs, uh, the costs, 
came to a total of 32,284. So we'll chuck all this in the price checker. We'll withdraw our costs of 32,284. And the total profit per hour comes to an absolute, really amazing 240,566. So, yeah, that's not too bad. Along with, I think we were getting about, my XP's uh, kind of gone now, but I, uh, it was around about 9k XP per hour as well, which isn't too bad. You're getting a little bit of magic XP and, well, a ton of money. That is a very, very good money maker. Obviously, I was a little bit out of peak times. If you were more in the peak times, it might be a little bit harder getting the worlds together, but... Yeah, overall, I can't complain at all with that. And uh, actually, blow me away how good a money maker that was. So anyway, uh, we'll jump into a little review now. So for the review, first things first, as always, we're going to go over the profit per hour. And the profit per hour was two hundred and forty thousand five hundred and sixty-six. So it was actually the best thing we've done so far. Um, I'm going to go over the AFK rating. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to score this quite low. It's going to go get a three out of ten. Unfortunately, there's a lot of world hopping, a lot of clicking telegrab. The only semi-AFK aspect is after the banking. There's a nice little run to get back there. Looking at the current bond price, unfortunately, it's going up a bit and it's now at 5.1 mil as of recording this, which is, uh, yeah, it's not great. If you were to do this method solely to get your bond, it would only take you 21 and a quarter hours, which actually isn't that bad. Obviously, your profit per hour is going to depend on how busy it is. I got quite lucky. It wasn't too bad near the start. It got a little bit worse near the end. But overall, I'd say this is a very, very good money maker. It's nice to break it up. But perhaps you want to do this and maybe nature runes, a bit of both. And before you know it, you're going to have your bond. So yeah, I highly recommend this method, to be honest. So yeah, we end the episode on 796k. Plus we've got some newly acquired gear and stuff. So we're we're looking like a very decent account now. I mean, obviously we're about like just under a fifth of the way to a bond. But we've only been doing an hour of each money maker as well. Um, but do you mind? I'm trying to film my outro here. Bloody hell. Hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Honestly, it helps the channel out massively. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Peace out.